is up guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video today's video as you can see is going to be just kind of like a couple days in my life sharing with you guys some recipes i really liked and giving kind of like a little mental health update kind of chat while you're sitting here be sure to grab some water grab a snack before we get into the video i did want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor and thank Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. If you're unfamiliar with who Anna Luisa is, they are a sustainable jewelry brand and they specialize in providing sustainable and long-lasting jewelry for everyone starting at $39. And something I particularly like about Anna Luisa is that they are 100% carbon neutral, meaning that they offset all the emissions that go through the production process of their jewelry through contributing to nonprofit organizations. And I just think that's really, really cool. Also means to me that it's not just your jewelry that is stylish, but you can also feel good wearing your jewelry knowing that it's not contributing to the degradation of the environment. So they are currently having a Mother's Day sale where you can get everything, your entire purchase, 15% off starting from now all the way until Mother's Day. I personally love gifting jewelry because I think it's a timepiece that can show how much you love and appreciate those you love and they can wear it forever. So I'm actually wearing some of my favorite pieces. It's their Everly ring and it's honestly so gorgeous. I've always wanted like a staple gold ring and this one's perfect. This is also another one of my favorites. This is their Roma bracelet. And I have a couple other of their bracelets, but this is by far like one of my other favorite ones. And I'm also wearing their Venus hoops, which are also one of my favorites. I basically will wear them with everything. And this is their Vita necklace, which I've been loving lately. I love how the V like kind of dips right where the neck thing is. But yeah, another one of my favorites is the mini Naomi necklace. So it has like a little pearl on the bottom and it's kind of like a choker kind of like this one and i honestly wear that one almost every day but yeah these are just some of my favorites from them and you can find a lot more selections on their website which i will be leaving in the description box and you can also get the 15 percent off code with that link in the description box i also wanted to note that the last day to get guaranteed standard shipping by mother's day is may 3rd if you are outside of the u.s and may 5th if you are within the u.s so just something to keep in mind while you're shopping to secure your pieces for mother's day yeah thank you so much again for anna luisa for sponsoring this video and without further ado let's get into it
right, so this is my lunch and I basically made a kind of like nourish bowl and all it has is some greens, some sweet potato, some chickpeas, some leftover quinoa that I made earlier this week and I added some avocado, some sunflower seeds, and this tahini dressing. I'm gonna eat this outside. I did a lot of studying for my marketing exam, which is crazy that I already have a final, my finals next week, and I feel like I just took the midterm, which I literally did. But after that, the class is done, so at least I'll have that done. So basically this morning, I just studied for that, and then I'm now watching my accounting review, so I just have to catch up on that. I also want to try and manifest Thai food for dinner because I haven't had it in a long time, like probably almost a month. Uh, we just haven't gone as a family lately, so I'm hoping to maybe manifest that tonight. I guess I'll chat with you guys when I eat something else or whenever I feel like I want to share with you guys what I'm doing. I don't know why, but I kind of just felt called to talk about where I am right now in regard to like maybe give like a little update uh with like mental health and stuff so, so it'll be like a little chat with mental health kind of update but i think lately i have felt really like unmotivated not so much in all aspects of my life but i think more like with creating content I it's been really hard for me to find motivation to like make a YouTube video or post on Instagram because I really like I don't feel called to do that all the time and I think we live in a society where we constantly have this pressure to be doing something in order to be categorized as productive and we end up associating that with our sense of self-worth and it can really get to you if you're not careful. And for me, I was a big culprit of that. I began to, I had realized, it wasn't until I took a step back that I realized how much I put my sense of self-worth in social media and how active I was and stuff like that. And I feel like right now, I haven't felt so called to be posting on social media and YouTube because I finally separated my worth from them so I don't feel like I need to validate my worth through constantly posting or through constantly creating content not that I don't enjoy making content I do I just I think it's been a, a form of self-care for me to take a step back and find fulfillment and joy in other areas of my life I've been so proud of myself lately because I've really been respecting how I want to move my body. Whenever I ask myself why I'm exercising, I just tell myself before, like, I'm enough, like, as I am. I could not exercise. I could choose right then and there to say, you know what, scrap this. I'm not gonna exercise today. And I'd still be worthy. I'd still be deserving of food. I'd still eat the same exact way and honor my body. And I think that's such an important mindset and relationship to have with your body. So. If I really don't feel like doing a lot of cardio, I won't do cardio. I'll just stretch or like today, like I could not, I can probably not do a burpee to save my life today just because I don't feel like I have the energy. And so today I'm probably gonna do like a stretching routine later. Like I'm proud that I'm acknowledging the seasons and the phases my body goes through and I'm not trying to push her anymore. I think just because I'm tired, I'm tired of trying to force my body to do something that it doesn't feel like it can do in the moment and I'm tired of degrading her for not being able to do it because we're all on the same team at the end of the day and we need to work together in order to thrive so I'm talking so much I just haven't touched my lunch also noticed I've been loving strength training like I used to I was so into like the cardio part of it and the hit and stuff but like now, like I love using weights. Like it just makes you feel like so much stronger. And yeah, I, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, so I'm gonna quit babbling now. Don't even know if this is gonna be in the video. If it is, great. Um, if it's not, then it's 
my little therapy session for the day. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish my lunch and then probably I need, I'm gonna make my mom lunch. Uh, since she saw my salad and she was like, I want one of those. So I was like, I will make you one. But finish my lunch and make my mom salad and then I'm gonna finish my accounting work. Hopefully get that done. Mom said yes to Thai food, so. So excited, hopefully we can get that, so yeah. Okay, so it's the next day. I don't really know where this video is going, but I am continuing to pick up the camera at very random times, so we'll just leave it at that. But this morning's been pretty chill. All I did was I kind of just got up, I had some breakfast, I had the usual yogurt with granola and blueberries, and then I watched some of the Winter Soldier and Falcon show with my dad and then I worked on a blog post which is up already it is the chocolate maca happy hormone chocolate bombs that I made and I'll leave a link to them if you want to try them in the description box today I did have Thai food I ended up having it I just didn't I will insert a little clip of it here but it was really good I hadn't had it in a while and then after that I didn't show but I had two of the peanut butter chocolate berets from French Squirrel and that was my last one so I'm like really sad. I kind of want to order more but it's like my bank account's like... Now Zoe, like why would we order more? Like, So I'm in a bit of a pickle but we'll see what happens. So that plans for today aren't that big. I kind of got sucked into continuing to watch Tale of the Nine-Tailed so I might just keep watching that because it's so good worth every minute of my life but yeah that's the plan so i'll show you guys what i end up doing and i'll take you with me whenever we do something so Right now, it looks like I'm in a sci-fi movie, but I am in my theater, my family's theater room. It's still like in the process of being built, so like it's not, there's not actually like a screen in here or anything, but we do have one chair. So I'm chilling in here and I'm watching Tale of the Nine-Tailed, so that's how I'm ending my day today. And I honestly debated picking up the camera because like I was really lazy because I was already sitting down But I was like, I gotta film it for you. So We are here. I am chilling out and I don't know if you can see But let me see if I can okay And I'm having these berets. I lied actually earlier today. I did have one more pack left in my fridge so these are the almond butter ones and I'm just having them while I watch Tale of the Night Tailed. So yeah, this is probably gonna wrap it up for me today, but I'll probably read later too. But yeah, this is kind of how I'm ending my night. So it's nice. I honestly am so tempted to order more of these because yeah, it's $38, but it's like probably like some of the best $38 I've ever spent in my life. So besides Kalina yogurt, so yeah, but yeah, so that's how I'm gonna end today. So do with that what you will, but we are going to be watching some K-drama because it's amazing. Okay, so it is a couple days later and I'm finally filming this outro, but that's gonna kind of wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a couple days in my life and it offered you guys some food inspiration and ideas as to things you can be making in the kitchen. I'm definitely planning on doing like a variation of like a what I eat in a week and maybe doing like a week of breakfast or a week of lunches and dinners or maybe even like a week of dessert.
desserts or snacks but definitely let me know if you guys would be interested in one of those kinds of videos but yeah other than that it's kind of kind of wrapping up for this video i want to thank annalisa again for sponsoring this video and if you're interested be sure to check out their 15 percent off mother's day sale where you can get 50 percent off your entire purchase so it's definitely something i will be looking into for my own mother but yeah other than that i hope all of you guys have a beautiful rest of your day as you always know now i'm sending you so much love and positive vibes and i'm so glad you're here and i appreciate you so I'll see you guys soon and yeah, hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.